Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about an important hypothesis in medical science that is known as the Monroe Kelly doctrine or the Monroe Kelly hypothesis. This doctrine is named after Scottish physician Dr. Alexander Monroe and Scottish surgeon Dr. George Kelly. Now what this hypothesis tells is that the intracranial compartment is an inelastic compartment having a fixed volume comprising mainly of these four components the brain, arterial blood, CSF or cerebrospinal fluid and the venous blood. Normally there is a state of volume equilibrium between these four compartments. Now if any increase in volume of any one compartment happens that is compensated by a decrease in volume of another compartment. Now the normal balance in volume between these four compartments maintains the normal intracranial pressure in a range of around 7 to 10 mm of mercury. Now what happens if there is an intracranial space occupying lesion? Occupying lesion occurs inside the intracranial compartment. The fixed volume and the intracranial pressure is maintained in the normal range by a compensatory decrease in the volume of one of the other compartments, more so by the CSF or the venous blood and later on by the arterial blood compartment. As the size of the lesion gradually increases, the volume of other compartment keeps decreasing until at one point the compensatory mechanisms fail and the intracranial pressure rises beyond the normal range. Now why this is important? Why it is important to know the Monroe Kelly doctrine is because the cerebral perfusion pressure is equal to the mean arterial pressure minus the intracranial pressure. Now any pathology that leads to an increase in intracranial pressure leads to a decrease in the cerebral perfusion pressure and the fall in cerebral perfusion pressure gives rise to various neurological deficits. Now if you like this video please press like and subscribe. Thank you.